this Sandin style VW T4 compatible air compressor has pad connectors and I had to buy these two adapters from T7 Design. Now as it turns out after doing a lot of research and speaking to a bunch of people these adapters and the size of the pad holes can vary from one manufacturer to the next, from one model to the next. Why they do that is anybody's guess, but typically instead of using the same kind of connectors and the same size connectors on each of their cars, they use different connectors to make our lives as the consumer and the home mechanic and the real mechanic's life an absolute misery. This is the solution going forward. If you buy a VWT4 compressor that has these pad connectors, and you buy this set of adapters, pad to uh, UNF adapters from T7 Design, you are going to need to take your compressor and these adapters to a machine shop or a local engineer, or if you've got the tools yourself, to open up this bore a little bit so that this extension, that male, can fit into that female there nice and snug so when i push that in now i can feel the o-ring taking up the seal then these just tighten down with an allen key you don't even need sealant or anything i'm told just tighten that up and that's it if you do not get the bolts with your compressor, if you buy a used one, for example, I bought a new compressor. I had to source two M10 by 130 mil bolts. So these will go perfectly into the captive nuts at the back. So basically, you can't get a 135, and a 120 will be too short. I nearly forgot. I got the correct two pin connector plug from Car Builder Solutions as well. This connector slides off the brackets on the compressor. You can then join the two of them up and then that slides back in there. And this is the connector that I need to go to the trinary switch. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of this AC install series.